Good morning. Today I want to show you a time lapse of the beginning process of working on a chest tattoo up until the end process of actually getting the outline on to my client, Ash. So the art process playback really satisfies my ADHD and it's been really nice to use the flow, the time lapse videos as a body double. It helps with my productivity. Plus I kind of just wanted to see what it felt like to watch the process back. Yeah, because being an artist can be alienating and lonely and boring, <laughs> but making art helps a lot. So the way I do my voice, rec uh, voice recorder overs, wow, that didn't make a lot of sense, um, is I respond to the video that I've made in silence. I think I make it in silence because I'm kind of introverted. One of the reasons I need to learn to sell more things online is because uh, engaging with people all the time drains my social battery and then I'm just spending a whole bunch of time recharging my social battery. We have a joke at the shop that I'm the tattoo artist that has the highest burnout after engaging with people, but I engage with each of my clients so fully. Like, my client right now that I'm designing this for, she's actually staying at my house. And she and I have been friends for a while, which is why I did this time lapse, because she's important to me. And so the process of designing for her is important. And I thought she would enjoy seeing it happen, you know, and going to extra effort for people that you care about is so fun. Yeah, bold black lines. I love that shit. So the reason she got this tattoo is I posted it on my Instagram, which is at Finn Graves Tattoos. I would be very excited if you followed me there on Instagram. I do post things. <laughs> I guess that's the point, isn't it? I try to remember that. Like, <laughs> as an artist, I think the point of being an artist is is to, to make art. Yeah! I'm showing this off. Who am I showing it off to? I don't remember. Yeah. Looks like Ben. Nope, Ammon. So we talked about the outline of the head, the shapes of things. I'm adjusting it. So Ammon and Sam have been my mentors and Benjamin Carly has helped me a whole lot. Um, he's been both like comrades in arms and also just the other Gemini in the shop, which is awesome to have because sometimes if it's just one of us, it can be, I don't know, not as chatty wait for it what are we waiting for Ooh, download yep being a channeler is like part of the world of the colonies the, whoa the programming the stories of my childhood the only person who really hear whoa the collective consciousness oh yeah so i do this thing with my with post-it notes and while i'm making art i allow whatever i need to come through me so that i can have notes for it later a lot of the time i i write like i'm a writer who writes um i don't publish things i'm not uh, super effective at all of my executive functioning and so I make a lot of art and I make a lot of notes about products and projects to make um, and I do my best to actually make them but yeah let me say I'm coming humble exactly I am flaws staying patient oh the music I was listening to skill development takes hours minutes and days of dedication it does and luckily art has been my hyper fixation since I was born right because it's not an attention deficit it's like extra attention you try working with four other talented artists it's true those fuckers are always doing something interesting and it can be incredibly distracting yeah see noise canceling headphones have been my friends okay so here's the outline concept for what i want to do on her chest <sighs> playing with a candle my hands are cold my hand's cold enough, I put on gloves. That's cold hands. I've been having a little blood pressure stuff, so. Trying to keep my hands warm. Da, 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 da. Ooh, I like this part. This is the outlining bit. Huh. That is satisfying to watch. So I was afraid with the red pencil it wouldn't be that satisfying to watch. But I think I, with my desk being at the window, 
um, the lighting there is good. One of the reasons I like doing time lapses at work, it's like threefold. One, I can advertise for the shop while I'm doing it. And two, the lighting there is great. And three, I can tag like our location. We recently figured out that Google, like if you don't pay them, only shows your bad reviews. So we were like, oh, come on, our clients like us and we don't really need more reviews. Like people come in off the street because this has been a tattoo shop for 30 years. Like, but we wanted to be reviews of our tattoo shop, of who we are as artists, you know? And who we are as artists is really interdisciplinary. We all have, I would bet all of, most, most of us have some form of ADHD or something like that. And so we're always doing things. We're always making stuff and we're really kind. And so I have like a lot of good to say about it. Like I feel really lucky I landed at Apollo Tattoo. So day two, goal achieved. Outline accomplished. Takes a whole day to do that shit. Yep. So it got dark. It's probably like six. And I'm like, okay, it's too dark to do too much. So let's make something bold. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> let's color. Rewards at the end of the day is coloring. I'm like a little kid. It is satisfying though. 10 for 10, I recommend it. If you've had a hard day, let yourself color for like 20 minutes and everything is a little bit better. If you're artistic like I am, because you can smooth, you can control the locations color goes. And if it doesn't work out perfectly, it's okay, you know? And as a tattoo artist, we're always concerned with making better and better work on our client. And we begin to put the outline on Ash. Dun, da, da, da. Those are prints, because the prints, not the tattoo <laughs> So here we go, we're prepping Ash's skin. I'm shaving it, smoothing on some cream to do the transfer, laying the stencil, obsessively smoothing stencil, I need to get better angles on this, but to do this, small adjustments, little details with my purple pin. Stencil on! In the first go, too. Like, that doesn't usually happen. Usually it's two or three grows with something that needs to be symmetrical like this. And we're putting lines in. She's doing okay. And then we get near her collarbone. And she thinks I'm a fucker. It hurts to get tattooed. This is one of my, what I would say, one of my toughest clients. Most of the people that I do time lapses with are friends. Are good friends that I have known for a while and have gotten, have gotten to tattoo repeatedly. So... Ash has scheduled me twice. This is the second time she's done it. She schedules me for multiple tattoos sessions. And so this is day two of her getting tattooed, but day one of the outline. So the day before I tattooed on the back of her calf and it was a pie with her brother for, for a childhood story. And I'll pop it on at the end so you guys can see what the pie looked like. And so we, I lost her stencil because we had to take time because she was in some pain. So I had to redraw it on and then get back to it. And by then she's done with me. And so tattoo shop cameo, friends coming through, friends coming through da, 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 in the background. I assume there they are. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, now it hurts. And she starts making faces where she really doesn't like me. I remember the first time I realized that at different points in tattooing, people are gonna actually hate me. Like, really not like me. And I kind of just got used to it, you know? Like, it's hard for me when their faces look miserable and we try to alleviate pain. Um, but it happens, like, part of the process is pain. Yep, Ash hates me. Whew. But it goes back to it after she ate. <laughs> she like went home and made food and liked me again. But I really enjoyed doing this piece. Like stage one completed. Like we got. <laughs> I love her laugh. She's great. She's a badass. She's unexpected. First lay went well. 